Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You're fast.
Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. A Geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. I'll tell you what I can. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. What is it? If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. 
Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Anything else I can do for you? Where are we headed? Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Can't do it.
Everyone all right? to poke around in here. It's not possible.
control room should be off to the right. Beginning security control. Three switches. That'll be easy enough.
happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Go away, Phantom! Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Unexpected noticing the area. Here they come! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Once we do this, there's no going back. Yeah, huh? You mean about the mission being too clean? Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order.